Hi guys, it's Angela with Cali Mom Collects, and today I have the second box of jewelry from Goodwill Blue Box. This is from Lake Worth, Florida, and yeah, it's my second box. Let's get right into this box. Before that, if there's anything in this video that you would like, you can email me at CaliMomCollects for you at gmail.com. I'll put it up on the screen for you guys. And the prices that you see in this video are my subscriber discount prices. And so yeah, let's get into this. Ooh, I'm seeing a couple things. That looks interesting. This, I don't know what that is, but looks interesting. So let's dump it out and get into it. Adjusting the camera and I'm going to show you guys pieces one by one in more of an organized way so that we can eliminate some of the fuzziness. All right well this caught my attention first all of this blinginess. Um, I think it's really pretty but I don't think it's supposed to be sitting like this. It just doesn't seem to be sitting right to me. as you can see. So I think that, oops, yep, and something just fell off of it. So I'm going to put this piece right from right there into the craft lot and all of these little rhinestones and gems can be repurposed. All right, this piece, this is, this looks like to me a traditional, vintage traditional wedding, Hawaiian wedding necklace. Now, I, I have seen these before, and I know that these can get pretty valuable, but I believe that the ones that are more valuable are made out of bone. This is a plastic, and it has faux pearls, but these were worn in traditional Hawaiian weddings. Um, I'm not quite sure the value on the faux pearl and plastic pieces, but I definitely think that there is resale value in this necklace. Okay, this next group is a group of pieces that are gonna go into the craft lot. We've got a very light costume-like Mr. T chain necklace. This bunch of tassels, paracord necklace, and some just some inexpensive plastic pieces. Love your mother. So those will go into craft. Here's another vintage piece. I have found these before. Sometimes these can bring in a bit of money. I've found them with 14 karat gold clasps before. This one doesn't look like it, but traditionally they are mother of pearl, onyx, and what looks like angel skin coral pieces. I really like this bracelet. We have a gold tone cuff bracelet with what looks like malachite. Gold tone looks to be in good condition. We have Ann Taylor and Ann Taylor is known to use real stones. Feels cold. This could be a real malachite piece. Very cute. I'm trying to figure this necklace out. It definitely looks like a copper tone, but whether this started off as copper tone or not, I, I'm not thinking so. I'm thinking it's just really faded and worn. It has pretty rhinestone pieces and this will be a great craft lot item. Just like the last box, we have some hematite pieces. This one has some orangish colored chips in the heart. This one is plain with a lobster clasp. 
stretch bracelet. I believe this exact same necklace was in the last box with the tail. And this one has little faux pearl accents. Here is another vintage necklace. This one is actually long, right? I have it doubled right now so I could get it in the frame. It has the box clasp, no marks, and it is long, long, long. So it could be doubled and it has all of these pretty iridescent Oriala, AB beads, Oriala Borealis. Let me get me tongue tied. Let me see, I think they are glass. They're pretty small, but I, I think that they are glass for sure. They're cold. They don't feel like plastic. Okay, this necklace is very pretty and the condition is great. It's long. I was trying to get the whole thing in the frame, but as you can see, it is very long double strand necklace. It is Talbot's. Talbots is good quality jewelry. They have a following as well. All the pretty pieces. Colors of blush and amber and champagne and pretty little rhinestones. So this is a great piece. I was excited about this necklace at first because I saw all these pretty little like crystal rhinestone stations, but then I noticed that the clasp is broken and someone put a safety clip there. So you could wear it like this, but I am going to put this in the craft lot and somebody can either wear it or repurpose it. But here's all the pretty little faceted pieces. I was super excited when I see when I saw this necklace because it is a labradorite and labradorite is one of my absolute favorite stones but I noticed that it is broken the the little cord down there broke so let me show you closely it must have been attached there or there was something attached I don't know why it would be in that hoop, but it probably could be fixed. It probably can be tied off, but let's look at it. Look at how gorgeous these stones are. And this is a long one. Beautiful clasp and it definitely says some things there. Let me look closely. Okay, it actually, it says a lot, but at the very top, which you're, you're not gonna be able to see because I could barely see it with my loop, it's 750, which is gold, I believe. I haven't gotten one in a while. And then it has even tinier numbers and then a brand that looks like Retore, R-E-T-T-O-R-E -T -T -E maybe. I'm going to have to look this up, but I think that this piece would be worth trying to fix and maybe keep. I love Labradorite and it's not really a sellable piece broken, so I've got to figure something out with this one. More pieces for the craft lot. We've got a couple necklaces here that are just has too much fading. This one, the chain has fading. It does have some cool stone pieces on there, so I think they would make good craft pieces. And this one has a lot of pretty rhinestone pieces, but it is broken. And this feels like tin and says, has like a personal date. A little girl's rubber and rubber oh my goodness rubber bracelet and then this the stretch didn't look good on this so the beads these will all make good craft lot pieces looks like we have a sterling silver necklace here 
I see the tarnish and I see the clasp, what looks traditional for a sterling silver piece. I'll look closely. But five years ago, this necklace would have been going to my daughter because she was a cheerleader. But now she is a senior in college and she is a young businesswoman. So she wouldn't need this now, but somebody else's little one would. So let's look at that closely. Okay, it says 925 Italy. So I will polish this piece up and sell it. This bracelet is really interesting. It is totally giving me Van Cleef and Arpels vibes. They are a very, very high-end designer. Their pieces go for the thousands. And they have this traditional design here. And this looks almost like a keyhole. And I am not seeing, you can see that it's hinged. I'm not seeing how you can open this. I almost think that maybe I was supposed to have a key. So I don't know about this piece, guys. I will have to do some research and see if I can open it. And I will let you know if I figure it out. I'm trying so hard to get this necklace in this frame because it's really long but I noticed right away, and I am so, so excited. We have a Givenchy piece. I always feel so fancy saying this. Givenchy, Givenchy, Givenchy. However you say it, this is an amazing piece to find. These pieces the vintage Givenchy pieces can go for a lot of money. Now, I don't know how old this piece is. It looks a little bit more modern than some of the styles of the others, but, oops, let's, let's focus. Can you see it? Where is it? There we go. That is a really awesome find Gold tone looks great, and it has the little black enamel stations there. So super this box has some really cool vintage pieces in it, and I'm super excited. This right away, the style of it and um, the look of it is vintage to me. Let's look closely. I do see some fading. on the chain as well. No marks on this one, but it's really neat. I like it. Next group for the craft lot. This is more faded and broken pieces. You can see the fading on this necklace. And this would have been a really pretty rhinestone horse necklace, but it's broken like the actual chain is broken. So all this will go in, and this is broken too. All this will go into craft. This piece also looks like a piece that would have come out of Hawaii or a, you know, an island type place. It looks like it was made out of seeds of some sort and pretty little turquoise colored seed beads. It is a unique piece. Here is this piece that we saw from the beginning. It looks really unique. It has a tribal style to it, but when you look closely, it you can tell that it's not a really well-made piece. It's more of a inexpensive fashion piece. It's still unique. It's just not, definitely not authentic tribal. And this is like a light, almost tin style chain. So still wearable, but not the best. 
This one is a pretty fashion necklace. It is silver tone, multi-strand, and then a little crystal-like beads. There were no brands or marks up at the top. I do see maybe a slight, slight wear. Still a really pretty piece. This necklace also has a vintage vibe to, to it. It has the barrel clasp. There is some fading on these gold bar stations there. Let's see if it's I think they're glass. We have a multi-layer cold water creek necklace. Now there is quite a bit of fading up here at the top. You can see the clasp there. There's cold water creek. Here are the multi-layers. This is just a fashion necklace. It is a multi-strand gold tone necklace. All of the strands have a different, different shape and design to it. Let me show you closely. The gold tone is in really good condition. No brands or marks on this one. Okay, I think this is the last of the bracelets in this box. So let's go through. This is one of those fashion cuff bracelets that you can put like a hairband on to hold on. The gold tone is in good condition. This is a multi cuff that is attached by these bars at the end. I am seeing some wear on this bracelet, no brands. This feels like some sort of rubber. It says stainless steel and it almost has like a watch. Let's see. Oh, I don't even think that that is, I think it's supposed to snap close there and it's not. So that'll go into the craft lot. This one, I like this one. This is a wood and has brass detailing in here and that is unique and here we have this what feels like plastic bangle sometimes these ones with the black and then the polka dots can be bakelite so I will double check but just by the looks out of um, looks of this one I'm thinking that it's not I think this is just acrylic but I will double check and then this bracelet no marks on this one either, and I am seeing quite a bit of wear. So this, this one is not gonna be a piece that I will sell. And it's missing a rhinestone. That's the last of our bracelets. Here we have a really adorable dainty cross necklace. The toggle clasp in the front, but I am noticing here on the cross that it's missing one of the little crystals. And they are so tiny, this would be a difficult one to replace, but I will try. I will try. Let's see if there's any marks on this necklace. I do think I'm seeing something, so let me look closely. It does say 925 over here. So I think that this is a gold vermeil over sterling silver. There is some fading of the gold plating on here where you could kind of see a little bit of the silver showing. But here is this piece. If I can fix the cross, I will sell it. If not, I will probably just scrap it. Here is a really colorful necklace with what looks like either wood or coconut shell pieces. Let's look closely.
It has, this is the top of it. It kind of has that vintage artisan look. And there's that. This necklace is a braided silver tone with little rhinestone dangles. It is short, it is a choker length, and it's kind of a stiff wire. Here is the clasp. The silver tone looks to be in good condition. Here's another awesome vintage necklace. Now you can just tell right away from the style of this necklace, it has this brushed gold texture. Here's the tassel. There is a little bit of fading. It is a nice heavy piece. But you can see there's some fading. These accents up here on the chain. And then here is the clasp and I'm not seeing any brands, but this is a cool piece. Here is a necklace that has these hematite colored faux pearls and then the wire, the wire chain. This is Carol Lee. I do really well with Carol Lee, like I have said before in some of my other videos, but the ones that I've done really well with are her more chunkier faux pearl gold pieces. So I will have to look this one up. It's a little more dainty and simple. Here's another dainty necklace and it says love and it is in a gold tone. And it the gold tone looks really nice. The chain is dainty. I do think I see something there and there. Let me look. And it says 925 here and then engraved China right there. So I think we have, I will double check to make sure, but it looks like a little gold plated sterling silver love necklace and it's in really good condition. Very cute. I have gotten this exact same necklace in a thread up fun box before. So it's funny that I'm getting it again in a blue box. And I don't think that I ever listed it for sale. I don't know what I did with it, but it is a fashion necklace with a large open heart. As you can see on my hand, it is very large, long cord, leather-like cord. There's the top, but you can see it is so long. We have some brooches. We have this lion brooch. Do you think I'm seeing some wearing on him? And I'm not seeing any brands on the back. A little bit of discoloration underneath there as well. Then this, this looks vintage to me. There's the design, the etching, the setting of the brooch in the back. And then this one, it's fairly light. It looks like an N. There's the clasp. Okay, next we have this layered choker necklace. And it is from Express. So you can see that the first couple layers are would be up tight on the neck. And it has this velvet maroon colored bow and then the couple chain style that would hang a little bit lower. There's that. Here's a couple dainty gold tone pieces. Now this one, the gold tone looks to be really good it is Trafari. 
It is the Crown Trafari. It is not the really old, um, highly sought after Crown Trafari, but there, these are still pieces that people like and they look for. It is in a box clasp. And just this little gold tone bar pendant in the middle. The really, really sought after Trafari pieces say Trafari spelt out and then has a crown, like a small crown right above the T. Those are the, the older pieces. And in my, in my um, opinion and what I have found through the few years that I've done this, that those are the really more sought after pieces. Then there's these ones, and then there is the ones that just say Trafari with no crown. So, all right, and then this one, I can see right away that the clasp on this is not looking so good. There's some darkening. Looks like an Avon tag. Yep. The pendant here still is in really good condition, just the chain is not. It says, Jesus loves me. It was then that I carried you. I love that. We're getting down to it, guys. We have some odds and end pieces here. We have a Vegas, Las Vegas pin. We have a tie clip. What does that say? Junior... URM has the arm, muscle arm with the hammer. There's that. We have the vintage Coke bottle, little charm. There's a lot of darkening on that. And then we have a little bracelet that says we. A little fashion bracelet. All right, next we have this hematite an amber stone and little cloisonne. These are one of the wrap. They could either be necklace or bracelet. Kind of versatile pieces. You will come across these a lot when you do this. But the I like the ones with the cloisonne pieces the best actually out of these ones. And then just a little silver tone choker necklace. It was stuck to the hematite necklace. Just a simple silver tone link. Here's one of those really unique shell pieces that have the wire kind of wrapping around it. Let's look at this closely because the design on this one is kind of cool with the black. The silver tone is in good condition. Some of the little links look like they could be squeezed closed in my opinion. I do have a handy dandy little tool that I use for that. It is my husband's fishing pliers. <laughs> okay, there's that. This is the last of it and then we will have the earrings. We have a chain without a pendant and then two pendants without a chain. So I was trying to see if one of these maybe went on it, but these are really heavy big pendant and that is a really dainty chain so I'm not thinking so and it looks like little marcasites on this oh it says 925 right in there but it looks like something's missing let me see yeah I feel like there was like a stone or something that was supposed to go in here the same with this you can see the prongs, the prongs here. There was some type of crystal or stone or something that went on this one. That one, is that a mark or a smudge? So anyways, and then this chain here, as you can see is dainty. I don't think it was supposed to hold either of those. And it looks like we have a silver chain here. But I do believe in the other box we had a pendant that didn't have a chain. So I will probably use it, and it wasn't as big as these two. 
So these will probably go into a scrap if, they're, if they do end up being real silver. So let's get to the earrings and end this video. All right, just like the last box, mostly single earrings in this box. I think there was only two matches, but there are some really cool single earrings here that I am bummed out about. I would have so wore these at my son's baseball games when he was younger. Not so much now that he's in high school, but I would have totally wore those. And I'm trying to remember if this earring was in the last box. Looks kind of familiar. But that is it for the single earrings, and I'll show you the two matches that I was able to put together. Here it is. Here are the only matches from this box. There's these gold tone and, and a cream enamel hoop. These feel nice and heavy, and the gold tone on the inside looks nice. I did not see any brands. And then these, I'm trying to figure out how these are supposed to go. So we've got the blue on this side with the faux pearls, and then green on this side, and it looks like goes in like that. So I don't know if those are supposed to hang and that's the backing or you can wear these ones. I don't know. I don't know, but here they are. And that is it. I'm going to pull back my favorites and end this video. All right, here are my favorites. This blue box was awesome. Much better than the first one, even though I did get some pieces in the first one that I liked, but this one is amazing. With this Labradorite piece, even though it is broken, I did look up the 750, it is 18 karat, and I tested it, and it is. So these parts up here are all 18 karat gold. And then this Givenchy piece, and then all of these sterling silver necklaces, even though they're dainty, they're cute. Those both tested as sterling silver. All of these vintage pieces over here are awesome. I love all these really cool vintage pieces. And the Talbots and these two bracelets, the fashion pieces, I like those too. So super excited about this box. I hope you guys enjoyed this time with me. And thank you so much for being here. And until next time, guys, thank you for watching. Goodbye.